I'm sitting down with senior ballistician Jaden Quinlan, and we're talking all things drag variability reduction technology, our new patented design element for our bullets. But before we get there, we need to know what is drag variability? Where does it come from, and how can we accurately measure it? Absolutely. Well, drag variability itself is is kind of what it sounds like. It's the variation in drag, but from a shot to shot basis. Uh, we know that drag is different amongst different bullets, right? You think about BC numbers, for example, that they're they're all usually different. Um, but from a drag variability perspective, when shooting the same exact bullets, the drag of each one of those is slightly different shot to shot to shot. And that's what we mean by drag variability. Now, where does drag variability come from? It comes from a couple different places. The main sources of drag variability that you will see are from the bullet itself. It has its own variation that exists in relation to the drag. You will see it from the barrel, whether that's the dimensions of the barrel, the twist rate, the rifling form, uh, any of those unique features that you find within a barrel. And you'll also find it with the muzzle device that's used if there is one. So we see big differences in drag variability when you go from a bare muzzle to a flash suppressor, to a muzzle brake, to different designs within those, to a suppressor, all of those things can affect the drag of the bullet. Um, so drag variability comes from a bunch of different places. Now obviously, you know, we don't make barrels, we don't make muzzle, you know, devices, uh, but we make a ton of bullets. And so our contribution um, in, in this subject is the drag variability piece as it pertains to the bullet itself. Okay, so you mentioned all those variables really outside of our control, and then during the shot, you have things like wind, uh, which are going to affect the drag on the bullet as well. So how do you control those variables to accurately measure the variability from shot to shot? Good point. So the, the drag variability measurement is, is a very detailed process, and you have to do it right if the numbers are to be believable on the other side. And, and because the total drag variability that you measure, say with the Doppler radar, that's the tool that's used to measure it, uh, it's, it's a, a sum total of a bunch of different contributing factors. Some of it is from the bullet itself. Some of it is from that barrel. Some of it is from the muzzle device, and some of it, like you said, can be from conditions such as wind. So how do you sort all of those independent contributing factors out to get to just the bullet's contribution? That's a tough order, and it takes a lot of detailed testing um, because you're, you're looking for the extreme, the extreme cases, and you're trying to get rid of those. And so you have to do a lot of testing, and you have to do a lot of testing through a bunch of different platforms to understand that this bullet is maybe better than this bullet or worse than this other bullet. You have to test them across a broad range because it might just be this bullet is worse in this barrel, but it's way better in this other barrel. Mm. And so it, get, it can get very muddy very quickly. Yeah, very complex, uh, but amazing that you guys were able to take this technology and advance it and get it into use. Guys, for more information on drag variability reduction technology, check out our podcast, episode number 127, and also our website, Hornady.com.